know people have got COVID fatigue. We get it. But at the end of the day, we've got to make sure that our folks are healthy. First at noon, continuing our coverage on the coronavirus here in the state. Governor Ned Lamont just held a news conference in Danbury to discuss the recent spike of cases in that city. Channel 3's Caitlin Francis is live now at the digital desk with what was discussed. Unfortunately, Kate, hearing about an uptick in cases just before school starts is not the welcoming news. No, Nicole, it's not. In fact, that's why local and state officials are trying to get ahead of it. Governor Lamont was in Danbury, as you mentioned, just a short time ago. It's where Connecticut saw their first positive COVID-19 case. Now it's where the Connecticut Department of Public Health issued a COVID-19 alert just this past weekend. Danbury saw more than 240 positive tests come back within the last two weeks. And officials say they believe the real spread is 10 times that number. Just a short time ago, Governor Lamont and the mayor of Danbury both spoke. They say the uptick is being seen in neighborhoods that were without power for more than a week and the concern also is that the spreads happening in younger people so the response has been quick and swift across the board schools and sports are seeing big changes yet again only a few dozen students were able to move on to the campus at Western Connecticut State University. Those students being told to stay on campus for the next couple of weeks. The rest of the students are being told to stay home. Meanwhile, Danbury Public Schools announced Monday the upcoming school year will start out with distance learning once again through at least October 1st. And it's a little ironic that here we are back in Danbury because um, we've had, uh, it's not a surge, but it's an uptick. And we're going to come down hard on upticks like this. We've had maybe 1% infection rate around uh, the state and maybe uh, 6 or 7% here in Danbury. And it happened uh, relatively quickly. So in response to that spike, the city also arranged for free testing sites to be open throughout the week. Everyone in Danbury is encouraged to go get tested. The governor also said this morning, Danbury is a priority to get results back quickly to help with tracking and tracing and in result slowing the spread so if you're looking for that information on where to go get uh covid tests check the channel 3 app i'm caitlin francis channel 3 eyewitness news